Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are and what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a great day. So, it's going to be a wonderful weekend. And I hope that you enjoy yours. Um, it's starting out pretty good. And it's just going to get better. So... I just wanted to share that with you to give you some inspiration to start your weekend off on the right foot and have good thoughts so that good things come your way. And it's a great way to start each and every day, not just today, but every day. So, watching on GPS <laughs> so uh, I didn't really have anything specific to talk about I watched some inspiring things this week and I had some challenges some I'm not even gonna say triggers I think maybe the I may have triggered someone um, but I saw it as um, opportunity and of course opportunity is good because it gives us a chance to grow to recognize the challenges or the obstacles that may be in front of us and to respond accordingly I may have unintentionally hurt someone's feelings um, because I did speak my mind about something and some people want to pretend that everything's okay and not take things very seriously and I've been accused of this before um, and it's not that I don't take things seriously because I do I definitely handle things a different way um, and there's a difference between handling things a different way and um, not taking things seriously or um, being seemingly immature in certain situations. Um, and if someone is generating that energy they don't necessarily want to hear about it they want to pretend you know they don't want their illusions distorted what's that that's that there's that um saying that says that um some people say they're living in a fantasy or fairy tale um but definitely not wanting their illusions distorted they want to pretend that everything is okay in that, you know, they're seemingly doing the right thing to stay positive, but at the same time, outsiders looking in just see them as behaving immaturely and not taking things seriously. Um, and it hurts their feelings sometimes to hear it, or they get mad when they hear it because they don't want to hear it. <laughs> so, um, Part of me wants to say something, then, but then part of me sometimes um, we just have to let people go through their karma <laughs> and deal with it the, the way that they need to. And sometimes we just make them better in another situation or we make them better for another person if that's what it needs to be. So, so that was the challenge but you know again the challenge we can always see the glass half full and we can see the challenge as an opportunity an opportunity for our own personal growth and personal development and and that's it so 
like I said, I didn't really have anything specific that I wanted to talk about, but I hope that was helpful. And as always, I love y'all. Again, it's going to be a great weekend, so I hope that you enjoy yours, and I will you all that you want and desire. Maybe not desire. I've come to realize that desire is not necessarily a good word. Um, but hopefully you're on that path to manifestation. And if you're not, whatever path you're on, I hope that it is it suits you well um, if it is a path to enlightenment um, you know when you have those obstacles and you have those triggers just ask yourself what did I learn from this situation and what is this person reflecting back to me because we are one so we are reflections of one another and so what is it that you need to learn from this person because nine times out of ten whatever is going on in that situation is something that is also within you now maybe on a different level you know like let's say for example you think that someone is selfish right you may also be selfish but at a level one whereas this person may be selfish at a level eight or a level ten and so it seems more extreme or more pronounced but at the same time you may have a touch of it too so sometimes we have to ask ourselves am I am I behaving this way do I behave this way in certain situations? Do I behave this way with certain people? And, you know, find out what that looks like. And self-correct, self-assess. Because um, like I said, some people don't want to acknowledge anything that they do or say that may not be of a righteous nature. They just want to pretend that everything is okay. And they excuse and justify, well, well, I don't do this or I don't do that. Yet they do other things that they're not acknowledging that, again, are not necessarily of a righteous nature. Um, some people can be very manipulative and passively aggressive, passive aggressively so. So they want you to think that they're not. Um, um, some people are controlling. Some people are possessive. Some people, again, can be selfish. I just use that as an example. But yeah, some people can be selfish as well. And uh, again, it's a matter of taking a look inside to see if we're exhibiting some of these behaviors as well. And if we are, how does that show up in our lives? Because it may not be in the same exact way. We may not repeat the exact same things that this person is saying or doing but in some way shape form or fashion this may show up in our lives when we're dealing with other people right so that's it I need to um, pay attention to make sure that I get off at the correct exits <laughs> and so again I love y'all. Oh my goodness, a car caught completely on fire. Wow, it's just a shell and it's like ashes. Um, so yeah, um, I hope that um, oh, excuse me. I hope that you have a good weekend. And I love y'all. And of course, if you need anything, you can always reach out to me, inbox me, um, DM me on any of my social media. I don't know if I address the fact that I changed my name. Not that I changed my name. So if anyone who knows me knows that my name is actually Shalithia, right? But because my middle name's Nicole, all my life, everyone has called me Nikki. However, a good friend said that I should embrace Shalithia, even though I feel as if people would not pronounce my name correctly, which is one of the reasons why I say, just call me Nikki. But he's like, but your name is so powerful, which I know because AJ's, anyone whose name or first vowel is an AJ or an S, um, starts with any of those letters or the first vowel is an A, um, is a very powerful person. 
and so that I do know that and um uh, And I don't say that to brag. Uh, it's uh, actually the, actually there's a science to it, and I could explain that whole breakdown, but not right now. <laughs> um, I can say that um, anyone whose first uh, letter of their first and or last name starts with a J is a leader of the multitudes. Um, an A can be considered an arrogant leader, and an S is a self-directed leader. Again, this is not something that I've made up. There is a science to it, uh, but I'll ex I'll simply explain that part to kind of give you a perspective. But it is basically similar to numerology. Uh -huh. It's called gematria, or gematria, depending on how you pronounce it. But again, I won't go into all those details at this time. But it is a very powerful name. So I have decided to embrace that. And so it's Shalithia Nicole is what I've changed my social media to. I am on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to share that in case anyone was wondering. The reason for the name change, you can still find me using my old handle, if I'm not mistaken, but I did change my handle to the, the Shalithia Nicole Experience, right? Because I talk about a variety of topics, cooking, um, inspirational topics or talks like this one. Um meditating yoga um, even maybe talk about a TV show every once in a while but it's a variety of things so it's it was the Nikki Brown variety show too because I did have a show on public access and it was called the Nikki Brown variety show and it was in Greensboro North Carolina I also had another show called Grassroots out of Harlem where I interviewed unsigned artists. So that was fun. Um, that was in the early 2000s. Um, the other show was like around 2005 to, to 2008, somewhere around in there. And now we're here on the, with a YouTube channel. And we're steadily growing. I'm thankful that I have about 350 subscribers right now. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. And I keep saying I'm getting off here. <laughs> and so I am going to do that now because I really do need to pay attention to where I'm going. So again, I love y'all and I hope that this was helpful later.